Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about parenthetical citations. And you might be asking yourself, what is a parenthetical citation? Well, it's just something we have to do anytime we're using direct quotes to support a paragraph. This is the way that we give our author their credit. So in this PowerPoint, we're going to talk about how to do parenthetical citations step by step. All right, so for how to do a parenthetical citation, step one, you need to find the most important part of your quote and underline it. So for example, I've given you three different quotes below. So what I did is I picked like the main idea or the key point from each quote. Um, here, this first part's not important. So I underline the second part about examining black boys more closely when observing their behavior. I did the same thing with number two and three. I underline the main idea of those quotes. All right, so for step two, we need to take those underlined points and put it inside our own sentence. So for example, for number one, I kept the part that I underlined, but I reframed the beginning. So I said, one study found that a lot of teachers, and then I have the part with my quote. Or for the second one, I put my own words for an example of racism in job applications is how, and then I kept this quoted part. Kaepernick and other black athletes, same thing, kept the quoted part. All right, so for the part that I've quoted, steps three, it's really important that we have quotation marks around them, all right? So that shows that these are not our own words. This section is someone else's words. All right, step four, we need to give our author the credit. So then what we do is at the end of the sentence, but before the period, we need to put the author's last name and the date it was published in parentheses. So for example, down here, the person who published or the person who said this quote had the last name of Whitaker. And this source was published, this, this article, in 1998. So that's the date right here. I did the same thing with these other two quotes. All right, last thing. If you could not find the author's name for your resource, you need to put the title of the resource and the date. You, you guys might have this issue with your YouTube videos. So here, for example, if I couldn't find the author's name, I would just put the title of the video, School Discipline News Report. Or here, this is a video called Racism in the Workplace. So I wrote the title down instead of putting the author. You have to keep the date though. That's it for parenthetical citations. If you're still stuck after this, ask myself or Mr. Hibbs for help.